Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got a special treat for you. We have a little pizza oven, wood-fired pizza. Who likes wood-fired pizza? I know I do. I do. here okay the first thing we're gonna do and you're filming here first thing we're gonna do we have some dough and uh, we're gonna make the pizza first before I fire up the oven because when I have the iron fired up the pizza's got to go in at the optimum temperature so what we like to do we don't use a rolling pin on this we use our fingers oh yeah wash your hands first um, <laughs> Laugh track insert right here. <laughs> so I've got a 12 inch pizza stone inside that uh, pizza oven. And so we need to make it about 12 inches. And it takes a little time to get it all spread out. I don't know if you're like me, but for years I've been looking at these pizza ovens that you have in the backyard. You know, and what do you want to get? Do you want to get gas? Do you want to get wood fired? Uh, some of them you can have a combo, so you can use a, a propane or you can use um, uh, a wood fired pizza oven. And so I looked at them, you know, and, and you can spend a lot of money on it. But um, what I discovered was this little pizza oven, and this pizza oven is AID Pizza. Um, I'll show you the spelling down below, and actually there will be a link. Yee! Uh, down below too. Um, the nice thing about this pizza oven is that the stone you can turn, and I'll show you this in the video here, but the stone you can turn, yee! More than a couple hundred. But you said before... That was that... before I heard them screech. The noise they made convinces me there are more. How many are there? I don't know, there could be countless numbers. Um, the pizza stone you can turn underneath the oven so you don't have to take it out, in and out all the time, you know, with your um, uh, spatula, with your pizza peel. Uh, full disclosure, I paid full retail for this pizza oven. Um, it was not, uh, this is not sponsored in any way. It's just something I really like. I've already done a few burns on this pizza um, just to get the hang of it and find out if there's any tricks I need to know. And one trick is that don't scrimp on the, um, the amount of wood pellets you put inside the, uh, to burn. Load it up as, as much as you can, because the more you load it, the hotter it's gonna be. Otherwise, you're constantly trying to feed more chips in there or more wood pellets and uh, you'll never make it to the optimum temperature. I, I do that after I've spread it. It's about 12 inches, you think? All right. Okay, one thing we do, this is gonna be a thin crust pizza. Show a close up here. This little device will keep the crust from blistering. Well, it's called a, a thing with knobs on it. Could be. I like to put a little olive oil on this ahead of time. Just a little bit. Now, we'll put our sauce on there. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here at, gee, oh, got the bugs. Mm. 
I'm afraid he doesn't understand how serious this is. I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the disadvantages of having an outside pizza oven. All right, Italian seasoning. Salt and pepper. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. All right. Now, uh, cheese. It's important to get your cheese, this is mozzarella, to get it very, very, very much the same thickness. You don't want it too thick. Uh, if you have it too thick, it's not going to melt properly. So get the when you cut the cheese, <laughs> make sure it's all about the same thickness as much as you can. Here should work. And pepperoni. Oh, I think we'll put our onions on next. Now we've. Uh, diced up some onions and just microwaved them a little bit just to get them a little soft. And there goes the basil all over the ground. Okay, throw some basil on there, fresh basil. <clears throat> and <clears throat> what we like to do also is put on a little shaved uh, Parmesan. Pepperoni. Fortunately, she's pointing at the pepperoni. I would have forgotten about that. Now this, we like to pour it on pretty thick, don't we? There we go. I think that's about it. One thing I should have done ahead of time, put on some of this, just so it gets smeared on the table here. And this is uh, cornmeal. This is basically your ball bearings for uh, getting the pizza on the peel and getting it off the stone. Now you want to get your pizza peel. Did I say, by the way, I've only done this three times before. This, this is number four, so uh, if I don't look real professional, excuse me. Oh, look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Ready to eat. Nope. Now we fire up the pizza oven. Come on over here and I'll show you how we do it. Meanwhile, while your pizza is resting over there, you might want to get one of these nets. Keep the big bugs off. Coming around the front, first of all, with this pizza oven, and probably with all of them, keep your front on while you're firing it up, and that'll help get the temperature up to where it should be. Um, with this pizza oven, it's also got in here, be sure to take that out. This is a little scoop, and I think I used about four big scoops of wood pellets, and then I also put in some uh, wood chips in there too. Definitely remove it before you uh, start this up. Now you can see how I've loaded this up with chips. So what we're going to do, I like to have a few wood chips in there too, but mostly this is uh, wood pellets. What I'm using here is a uh, this little propane, not propane, butane, um, butane flame igniter. And this thing works really nice. It takes a while before you get a good sustainable flame. By the way, all these pieces, um, including this butane or but yeah, butane lighter you can see on the uh, links below, along with my hat. Everybody has to have a hat 
if you have a uh, pizza oven. It shows you know what you're doing, even if you don't. Sorry for the sound there, I don't know if you can hear it, but I think we have a motorhome coming in. We're doing this at Outdoor Resort Indio. Uh, it's a Class A RV resort. We stay out here about five months per year. Keep going back and forth like that. And I think we're about ready to put it in there. Yep, okay, let's just put that in. And you wait. This, the nice thing about uh, this uh, oven, you've got a, a thermometer. Now, what they recommend is when it reaches about uh, 625 degrees Fahrenheit or 350 degrees centigrade, um, that's when the oven is ready for you to put your pizza in. Um, I'm, I've found that the past three burns I've done, it's actually been a little bit lower than that and I've had no problem at all. Oh yeah, she's burning. So here's the sauce I used. Uh, you know, starting out, we're using uh, what you find in the store just to make it quick and easy. Um, while we're at the RV lot here, we're trying to make it easy. When I get home, we may end up making our own pizza sauce. Uh, it's not that hard to do. Some of the other ingredients that we used out here to make it nice and easy was, you know, we just used some pepperoni you buy in the store. The dough, okay. The dough, we're gonna be making our own dough when we get back home. But for now, just to make it quick and easy, you're at an RV park here, you know. We went to Trader Joe's and we bought their, uh, yeah, regular pizza dough. Um, I also got some mitts here just to make sure I don't get burned. Got a lot of noise going on. And we bought these little pizza pans, which uh, you can serve your pizza on. There's the fire. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's been burning in there for about 13 minutes right now. Temperature is up to 510, 520, something like that. I'm gonna give it a little boost. So I'm gonna throw some more, uh, actually I'm gonna throw some chips in there, which really gives a good flame. Just a handful. Oh, and I can't stress enough how good one of these gloves are because you need it. Uh, like when the front lid opens, you want to be able to tap it back in. So, let's see. I'll show you. Boink. It opens when you're jostling around. So you want to tap it in like that. Okay. Now, yeah, we're just about 600. Okay, I see the fire rolling along the top. Let's take a look inside and see what we got here. This is very hot. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, pizza's going in. And you keep it open while the pizza is cooking, by the way. Then what we'll do, down below there's a little knob and uh, as it's cooking you can just turn it. Now you can see right there the crust has already come up a little bit. 
So I've turned it 180 degrees, but the way I'm gonna really cook this is turning just a little bit at a time. And as soon as you see that cheese melting and bubbling, you're done. Oh, I can see it bubbling, I can smell it. It smells fantastic. And by the way, we're just under 600 degrees, which is just fine. Turns so easy. Yeah, look at that crust there. It's nice and brown. Oh, I can hear it sizzling in there too. Oh yeah, it looks good. Make sure if you have any kids or anything like that, that they stay far away from this oven because the outside is hot. Uh, the little pipe going up is hot. Down below this thing here, the, the front uh, um, door is hot. Pizza pan. So what we're going to do, actually I'm going to put the pizza pan probably right over here. I don't know, I haven't figured this part out how to do this yet, but uh, I think that's going to be the best way. There is an up and down to this pizza peel, by the way. And here we go. Let's see how she looks. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks good. Put it on your little pizza pan. Bam. Oh, it smells fantastic. We like to cut it into um, little square chunks, which is what I'm gonna do. That bug would like to eat some. Please don't. Go away, bug. Dude. All right. There we go this. Mm -hmm. Oh, this smells fantastic. Mmm. Fresh cheese. Fresh dough, everything's fresh because you know, because you made it yourself. It's a thin crust, it's perfect. So when you're done making your pizza, it's gonna take quite a while for this to cool, <coughs> cool down. Let it cool all the way down before you put that cover on. Let it cool all the way down before you take your pipe off, your stove pipe. Um, because it'll be, it'll be smoldering for quite a while. So stick it out of the way someplace. Make sure it's not underneath an umbrella or anything like that. Because sometimes you'll have a little, little fire that'll come up through here. And uh, be safe. Thanks for watching the, this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested in uh, getting one of these, um, there's a link down below. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you, the legs fold in on this, so it makes it easier to carry. They just fold down. This pipe comes off, and then, just a second, you can also get this pizza oven cover, which then straps underneath, and you can carry it with this, um, with the whole thing intact. So, pretty cool. Link for this to be down below, too. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.